Good evening, everybody. I'm Bella. This is the news and the weather presented in English and Portuguese. Hello, Marta's Vineyard. Hello, Brazil. These are our week picks. Confira! Island Theater located in the beginning of Circuit Avenue in Oak Bluffs languishes in limbo. Honor says wastewater limitations are deterring potential investors. O Island Teatre, o Teatro da Ilha, Island Theater, localizado no início da Circuit Avenue em Oak Bluffs, o Teatro da Ilha, localizado no início da Circuit Avenue em Oak Bluffs, definha no limbo e o seu proprietário diz que as limitações das águas residuais estão dissuadindo potenciais investidores. Island Theater co-owner Mr. Ben Hall Jr. told MV Times last week that there are no serious offers on the table and that wastewater limitation are, limitations are proving to be a liability. O co-proprietário do Teatro da Ilha, o Island Theater, Ben Hall Jr., disse ao MV Times na semana passada que não há ofertas sérias na mesa e que as limitações das águas residuais estão se mostrando como uma responsável pelo problema. O senhor Hall disse que uma proposta de desenvolvimento potencial foi recentemente descartada devido às limitações das águas residuais. Mr. Hall said a potential development proposal was very recently scheduled over wastewater limitations. According to MV Times story, Oak Bluff's wastewater commissioner and selectman Gail Barmakian contradicted Mr. Hall. The theater is by right allotted a certain amount of flow, wastewater flow. She said, if you need more capacity, then you are allowed to you come to us for additional flow. Na matéria, a comissária de águas residuais de Oak Bluffs e a selectman Gail Marmakian contradizem o senhor Hall. O teatro é, por certo, alocado em uma certa alocado por uma certa quantidade de fluxo de águas residuais, disse ela. Se você precisar de mais capacidade do que você está alocado, você tem, vem até aqui a nós com um pedido para um fluxo adicional. It's a negotiation. Well, we love this building and its history. Summer is coming. Cross fingers. Chapa Queer Film, a vineyard story. O filme Chapa Queer, que é uma história da ilha. A few years ago, movie director John Curran and actor Jason Clark made a late night trip to the Dyke Bridge on Chappaquiddick Island. The bridge has been rebuilt, but the rural landscape haven't changed much in 49 years since the incident which Senator Teddy Kennedy drove his car off the bridge, an accident that resulted in the death of a young woman, Mary Jo Kopechny. The film Chappaquiddick revisits what happened on the bridge during the July weekend in 1969 and the investigation, the media story, and Kennedy's family cries that followed the event. O filme Chappaquiddick conta o que aconteceu na ponte Dyke Bridge durante o fim de semana de julho em 1969. A investigação, a mídia e a crise da família Kennedy que se seguiu logo depois do Fato. Chapa Quirik, 
vai estrear na abertura do Festival de Cinema de Martas Vinha deste ano, na quinta-feira, dia 15 de março. O filme será discutido pelo diretor e ator depois da premiere. The film Chapaquiricui, o premiere for the opening night of the 2018 Martha's Vineyard Film Festival on Thursday, March 15, on the Vineyard, following a discussion with film director and the actor who portrays Mr. Kennedy in the film. That's a good, good uh, film to watch. Martha's Vineyard High Regional High School students support a national student movement to end mass gunfire in school. In solidarity with families and friends of the victims of Parkland, Florida school shooting, which happened when a former student entered to the school and killed 17 students. Martha's Vineyard High School students, os estudantes da Martha's Vineyard High School, apoiam um movimento nacional entre estudantes para acabar com tiroteios em massa nas escolas, em solidariedade com famílias e amigos das vítimas do Parkland Florida School Shooting, que aconteceu quando um ex-aluno entrou na escola e matou 17 estudantes. O presidente da classe júnior, Owen Engler, e a vice-presidente Mackenzie Condon dirigiram-se à multidão pedindo um momento de silêncio. Junior Class President Owen Engler and Vice President Mackenzie Condon addressed the crowd asking for a moment's silence. Assist agora, watch now. My name is Owen Engler, I'm the junior class president. Um, I'm Mackenzie Condon, I'm the junior class vice president. And today we're working on um, trying to get everybody out here to stand in solidarity with the events that happened in Florida with Stoneman Douglas High School and all the other events that are unfolding across our nation. We're trying to stand with the kids that have had to suffer through any type of violence at school and we're trying to show our respect towards them today. What's your message? So just that we definitely support the students in Florida who are being a brave voice for change and we want to show that everything they're saying we're supporting and here we are standing for them. And we also want to um, let everybody in the country, including our politicians, know that um, we're all stand together on this issue and we're all unified. And whether or not we may be unified on how to solve the issue, we're all unified on the fact that we all want it to get proactively worked on. And right now it's not being proactively worked on, so we want to show our stance against that. And we're not going away. Hey everybody, can we have a quick round of applause for one of our state senators? Coming down to state rep, coming down here today, and we applaud their support and the fact that they're willing to come down and listen to what we have to say today, sir. We can't thank you enough. I really appreciate what you're doing. Good afternoon, everyone. We're, briefly, we're going to do a moment of silence, and we ask that after you all stay, and we can take a picture with everyone's signs and everyone showing their support. So at this moment, I ask that we all take a moment of silence for what happened last week in Florida. Thank you, everybody, for your respect towards that. And I see a lot of people here with signs. I would really appreciate it if you put those signs in the air because a lot of those matter. Those deserve to be heard. And there's people here that are willing to hear your voice and that are willing to hear what you guys are going through and kids across this nation are going through. So I sincerely, sincerely appreciate anyone that made a sign is willing to put that in the air and let your voice be heard. Every single person that's here deserves to have an applause because of the fact that you're outside right now. And it's showing everyone across the state that we, Martha's Vineyard Regional High School, do care about what's happening. We're connected through this, and everyone across our country is unified on this issue. Whether or not we may be agreeing on how to fix this issue is one thing, but I know for a fact right now, at least all of us here at this school, including, including the students, including the teachers, and including the parents, are all standing here in unification by the fact that we agree something on. And we really appreciate that everyone's coming here right now to show support for that. Because we have a voice that deserves to be heard, whether or not it be right now or in two years when we are 18 and have a vote in, and have a vote in this country. Because I guarantee you we will in two years and we will hold these politicians accountable for the things that they are not doing. So I appreciate everything that you guys are doing here today. Thank you so much.
give you guys a quick round of applause. Let's listen the kids. They are the next generation. Eles são a próxima geração. É ele que é, são eles que vão cuidar de nós. Agora, notícia do Brasil por solo mascarenhas. E não, News from Brazil. Obrigado, solo. Congresso aprova decreto de intervenção federal no Rio de Janeiro. Matéria de Amanda Rossi, da BBC Brasil em São Paulo, sugerida por Solo Mascarenhas. O Senado brasileiro aprovou na terça-feira o decreto assinado pelo presidente Michel Temer, que determina a intervenção federal no estado do Rio de Janeiro, deixando a segurança pública fluminense sobre responsabilidade de um interventor militar que responde ao presidente da República. São os militares na rua. Como antigamente está voltando, assim a segurança pública do Rio sai da esfera estadual e vai para a federal, com comando militar até o dia 31 de dezembro de 2018. O Rio de Janeiro vive uma crise de segurança, como diversos estados do país, episódios de violência durante o carnaval teriam influenciado a tomada da decisão pelo governo. For your understanding, the Brazilian Senate approved last Tuesday the decree signed by the president Michel Temer that determines the federal intervention in the state of Rio de Janeiro, leave the public security of Rio de Janeiro under the responsibility of a military intervener who responds to the president of the re republic, the Brazil Republic, Mr. President Michel Temer. The text was adopted by 340 votes to 72 with one abstention. Thus, public safety in Rio leaves the state sphere and goes to the federal with military command until December 31, 2018, like many states in the country. Rio de Janeiro experienced a security crisis. Episodes of violence during Carnival, Brazil Carnival, would have influenced decision-making by the government. In practice, that can occur is a reorganization of the security force. There are no new people, the resources are the same, The police are already on the streets of Rio. The army, too, can be done so that security forces are allocated differently and restructured. That's the, exp the explanation on BBC News Online from Mr. Renato Sérgio de Lima, Director President of the Brazilian Forum of Public Security to our SIRS, BBC Brasil, em São Paulo. Na prática, o que pode ocorrer no Rio de Janeiro é uma reorganização das forças de segurança. Não tem gente nova, os recursos são os mesmos, as polícias já estão nas ruas do Rio, o exército também. O que poderá ser feito é que as forças de segurança sejam alocadas de formas diferentes e reestruturadas. Não haverá uma mudança de um dia para o outro. Explica Renato Sérgio de Lima, o diretor-presidente do Fórum Brasileiro de Segurança. E assista agora a previsão do tempo para essa semana. Let's go there to the weather. It's very positive thing to check. Make us happy, make us sad, but a natural thing. Watch. Tonight, Monday, clear, with a low around 32, northwest wind, 
9 to 30 miles per hour with gusts as high as 23 miles per hour. Tempo bom na segunda-feira à noite, com mínimas ficando nos 32 graus e ventos que estão vindo pelo noroeste com rajadas de até 23 milhas por hora. Tuesday, terça-feira, sunny with a high near 46. Dia de sol com a temperatura máxima nos 46 graus. In Tuesday night, e na noite de terça-feira, mostly clear with a low around 37. Tempo bom na terça com mínimas nos 37 graus na terça-noite. Wednesday, quarta-feira, sunny. With a high near 47, southwest wind 13 to 15 miles per hour. Quarta-feira de sol com máximas nos 37 graus. In Wednesday night. E quarta-noite, mostly cloud with a low around 38. Tempo nublado in low around 38. Thursday, quinta-feira, tem parcialmente nublado com máximas nos 46 graus. Partly sunny with a high near 46. In Thursday night, chove na noite de quinta-feira, com a temperatura máxima ficando nos 39 graus. Rain likely on Thursday night, mainly after midnight, a low around 39 and windy. Friday, rain. High near 43, very wind, chance of precipitation is 80%, chuva na sexta, com precipitação de 80%, vai cair, máximas nos 45 graus, Friday night, noite de sexta, a chance of rain, cloud with a low around 37, very windy, chances de chuvas, tempo nublado e mínimas nos 37 graus para a noite de sexta-feira. Muito vento! Que positivo! Que positive for open mic every other Tuesday, duas terças-feiras ao mês, de 5 a 7 da noite. Next one, open mic, tomorrow, Tuesday, one year anniversary, congrats and horror, and happy birthday open mic. Save date for Pathways events at Tilmark Tavern in Tilmark. Para a próxima semana, next week, much fun ever. Doors open at 6.30 no Pathways, na taverna de Tilmark. Dog Wild Show continues every day at Featherstone Art Barn. March 4th is the last day to see the paintings and dogs and drawings. Sunday from 12 to 4 p.m. in the Featherstone Art Barn, Oak Bluffs Martha's Vineyard. Qual é a sua mensagem? If there's one thing that we can remember when we all come out here in the rain, a lot of us, some of us still even coming, is that even the rain, or the fact that it's cold, or the fact that it's in the middle of winter, or the middle of summer, or the middle of the fall, it doesn't matter what season, we'll all still meet here again if this ever happens again. Because I'm telling you right now, we're all on the same page. We never want this to happen again. Thank you everybody for coming out, I really appreciate your time. Have a good night, everybody. Thank you. Hi, my name is Mackenzie Condon. I'm from Martha's Vineyard Regional High School. I'm the junior class vice president. Um, student council organized to organize what we were doing today. The main point was to show our solidarity and show our support for the kids in Florida who are speaking out actively for change. Um, on March 14th, we're looking to see what we can do there as there's a national plan for that. And then March 24th, we're trying to send kids to go to marches and also be a brave voice for change wherever they can. That might be DC, that, that might be Boston, but right now is really just to show those kids in Florida that we support them with what they're going through and the way that they're grieving and the way that they're speaking out is something we need to support. We have an obligation to support that. Mackenzie, yes. what's your message 
um, that anyone who wants to speak for change, because right now there hasn't been change, we're going to support that. We need Thank action. You. Yeah. Thank you. Let's keep list the kids. Our next generation, thanks to all sirs. The National Weather, Lynn Christopher's beautiful image background, MVTV special, thanks to Carl Holt, Martha's Venus Savings Bank, Martha's Venus Cultural Council, and Chronix Market. Thank you all for your support. Contact us at planetbella at hotmail.com. Do not forget the dash, planet-bella. We are at Facebook as well, social media. Go there, let's go there. The news in the weather with Bella, connecting community since 2014. Ciao, ciao for now. Have a very positive week. I see you next.